Hey everyone, this is a pretty cool workflow that I got going. So I'm going to take it from the very beginning so everyone can see it. What we're going to do here is we are going to find local leads from a Google search. And so what I mean by that is sometimes there are companies that you're searching for that are really, really tough to find databases for. Uh, and in this instance, we're going to find Airbnb management companies. No database will have this tagged. It's really tough to find, but I think I found a Google search operator that's going to help us do this. So you could either start from a source or you could get your table ready. And we're going to use the Google search integration here. So what I was using before is I typed in Airbnb management company in Florida, and then I excluded blog directory and then restaurants. I know, but before I saw some restaurants, as I know it's a little weird. And so we're going to grab a hundred of these and we are going to hit the United States just to make sure that we stay super tight. So let's let that run. I'm just going to pause the video. All right. So our search results came in. So we're just going to open this up and we're going to take a quick look title, Airbnb property management, Florida nailed it. Uh, Miami short-term Airbnb property management, nailed it. Let's move on. Airbnb management company, nailed it. Get a help from the Airbnb management expert, nailed it. All right, so I'm going to say that this is this is pretty damn good, right? Okay, so we have some, some links from Facebook in here. We have, but otherwise we have, we have really good... Other than Facebook, yeah, no, we have really good websites. So in the future, I would take out Facebook most probably, but we'll just create a new column and we're going to call this website. And we're just going to roll this over here. Great. And now let's clean this up. And we're going to clean this up. And now we are going to get into the nitty gritty of it. So let's open up and let's start mapping our tables. I'm going to pause the video and map these tables for us. All right. So we've let the information fill out a little bit. And what we have is the website. And then we scraped the website for uh, all of this information that we could actually, you know what, we'll even run a keyword search against this uh, as well. And so we could see if we could find their social links, and then we can see if we can find their phone numbers, uh, and lots of other different things. So here in particular, I was pulling out the email addresses. So if there was an email address present, we pulled that out. And then I also used the website to find the website on Google business. And then we could get their ratings and their reviews, something that we'd be able to mention in our outreach saying, Hey, you know, I was looking at your website, especially if we're using this generic one. If we're saying, if we're emailing a generic email, we won't be able to say a first name. So uh, being able to say, Hey, I was looking at your website. Notice they had, you had a 4.6 uh, rating on Google across 83 reviews. I found pretty, uh, pretty impressive. And then you can get into it. We have the company name here, and then I have their phone number. Sometimes I like using this as a first line too, as you know, I was about to give you a phone call, but I noticed your email address on your website. So I figured I'd uh, send an email, uh, then mention the Google reviews and then get into whatever you're pitching. I also wanted to try to find their company on LinkedIn, which it seems like a lot of them don't necessarily have a LinkedIn presence, which is totally fine. Uh, then what we also did is I found the, the owner from a Google search. So I took the name of the company and I just put owner in double quotations because that will help me look for synonyms. And so then I found the owner and see how this is Core Compass, Core Compass uh, Counseling, great. And then if I could find any work emails with what we have uh, to use, we were also able to do that. So from a quick little Google search, we were able to find all of this information of a niche business that you're not really gonna find uh, in any database that you're using, Google is going to be your best friend when you do this. Of course, there's ways to improve this. See, uh, LinkedIn.com made it through here before Indeed was on here as well. Forbes is on here. Oops, where did it go? 
AirDNA, Bloomberg, State of Alaska. So there's there's some things to wade through. So if you wanted to increase this, now the video is over, but if you wanted to increase the accuracy of exactly what you're looking for, stick around because I will show you that we can use the clay. We're gonna do get keywords and we're gonna search the snippet from the, remember we scraped the website. So keywords to search for in text separated by comma. And then we're gonna enter the text here. So I wanna say Airbnb, ooh, Airbnb property management. I wanna find those keywords. And I wanna find it in body text. We're gonna go back, we're gonna run this and we're gonna go back to it as well. So let's hit save get keywords. And now let's just run back and just make sure that's exactly the one that we wanted. Body text. Yes. Okay. So this is what I wanted. If they're going to say Airbnb management or anything like that, it's going to be in here. And so we'll be able to double verify that they actually say Airbnb management on their website. And then looks like we have a lot more yields towards the top, of course. But then now all we'd have to do is this was Airbnb management in Florida. We would just put Airbnb management in another place, double check. And then we can keep this super, super accurate actually by adding a filter so we can get the total count and anytime they mention these words, and then we would just filter it by the total count being not empty. And now these are all property management, Airbnb companies in Florida, and we could just keep repeatedly pulling different places and just pull these people in. So. Uh, if you have any questions, you can join our community uh, at clay.com backslash slack, where you can ask uh, the team any questions or anybody in the community how they would attack this. So uh, have a great day.